Good morning, grandkids. Well, today I thought I'd stand out here on the, near the docks and just be out in the weather for a while and let you see some beautiful scenery and a cool ship sitting out there. Uh, today we're going to read The Amulet of Kings. And this book is written by Winnen Ruth Monhanna. And I'm kind of interested in it because I had a couple of questions in it that I know I'm out of character, but that you grandkids might uh, answer for me. In the first years of the first era, a powerful race of elves called the aliens are the heart or the Heartland High Elves ruled Central Tamriel with an iron hand. The high and haughty aliens relied on their patrons, the treacherous Daedra Lords, to provide armies of Daedra dead spirits. With these fearless magical armies, the aliens preyed without mercy upon the young races of men, slaughtering or enslaving them at their whim. On behalf of the suffering human races, Saint Alicia, the first in the line of Cyrodiils, sought the aid of Akatosh, the dragon god of time and ruler of the noble Adra. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and bless Saint Alicia with his blood of dragons and made a covenant that so long as Alicia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies, the Daedra-loving aliens. In token of this covenant, Akatosh gave to Alicia and her descendants the Amulet of Kings and the eternal dragon fires of the Imperial City. Thus does Alicia become the first gem in the Cyrodiilic Amulet of Kings. The gem is the red diamond in the middle of the amulet. This is the symbol of the empire and later taken as the symbol of the septum line. It is surrounded by eight other gems, one for each of the divines. So long as the empire shall maintain its worship of Akatosh and his kin, and so long as Elisha's heirs shall bear the amulet of kings, Akatosh and his divine kin maintain a strong barrier between Tamriel and Oblivion, so that mortal man need never again fear the devastating summoned hosts of the Daedra Lords. But if then the Empire should slacken in its dedication to the Nine Divines, or if the blood of Elisha's heirs should fail, then shall the barriers between Tamriel and the Daedric realms fall, and Daedra worshippers might summon lesser Daedra and undead spirits to trouble the races of men again. And, and what I want to know, because I never pay any attention to the lore of Skyrim, I just play in it to enjoy myself. But I know that the Dragonborn comes down through uh, the Cyrodelic Kings, rulers. They were Dragonborn. And this says uh, Saint Elisha the first 
in the line of Cyrodiil's. So she was the first, I suppose maybe gave birth to the other uh, dragonborns, ancestors of the present dragonborn, if you play as a dragonborn. And I wondered about this amulet of kings. I don't know if I've seen it in the game any time I've played it. And is it something that we can acquire in a quest or find somewhere? We surely, if we're going to be the dragonborn, should be able to have it or acquire it. So if somebody knows uh, the quest for that, if you'd let me know, I want to I want to do that in my new uh, Chronicles of Genre the da Dragonborn. So let me know because I don't really know about lore. So I would like to acquire that. Is it an amulet that we can acquire? And is there a is there a king's crown that we're supposed to be able to acquire. So let me know in the comments. So this is uh, the next to the last book in this series. And uh, for the last book next Wednesday, I would like to read a story out of one of my uh, nice Skyrim books that I have that I ordered. I really like it and I think someone mentioned in comments to me about reading it but I haven't found it in the game. Oh, I may have in other series and stuff but it's hard, been hard for me to get books for her to read because I just do it in game and I don't have time to play with her as if I was playing a game to go find books, buy books, steal books. So next week I'll read out of one of my uh, Skyrim books for you and that will be the last episode of this. But from time to time I do want to have Jari read a book that she picks up here and there just once in a while. It's not going to be something that's going to be a constant in that series because that's not what the series is about. But she can just casually read one once in a while. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this book. Uh, talk to me in the comments and I will see you 